Hello everyone. Today we will be seeing how to install CodeBlocks IDE along with GCC compiler. For GCC we are going to use a popular port of GCC that is Ming W. So let's begin. To start we will go to the search engine and type CodeBlocks. You can click the down first link that appears click on the download section click on the download the binary release section and if you scroll down you will find a lot of different setups that are available now depending on your need you can select whichever setup e e is required for your particular configuration like for example if you only need the code blocks IDE and not the compiler then this is the setup that you should download and if you need a setup along with the compiler then this is the setup that you should download so I will be going for this one I'll click for download wait for it to download and if you see I have already downloaded the file beforehand so I will simply press cancel now once this is done, I will run the setup and this is the screen that I get. So click next, I agree and from the drop down menu select the full installation and just scroll down and check whether Ming W is selected. Next, this is the default location where code blocks is going to be installed next and once the installation is done your code blocks IDE will be ready to compile C programs so it is asking for do you want to run code blocks now so I will say no for the time being and click next and finish the setup so now my code block setup is done now I am ready to open the IDE so now I will double click the icon that is created on the desktop and this is how it looks so now this will show you the complete layout of the code blocks IDE now if you want to have a minimal layout you can simply go to view perspective and minimal so this will clear out all the clutter in your screen any at any point of time you need to see the build messages or compiler outputs then you can simply go to view and press logs so that will open up the logs and if you just click over here it will open the build messages so this is a simple IDE which you can use to compile your C and C++ program provided you have the compiler installed so now let us uh, see how to create a simple C program so I will start with file new and empty file So now this empty file the first thing that I do with the empty file is to save it I will save it as let's say test dot C and uh, once I save it I can start writing the code hash include stdio dot h in main return zero and print f
hello world I can save it and go to build and build the file so now if this file builds without any errors and warnings that means we are ready to run the file so I can simply click on run and you can see I have got my output as hello world now this program currently uses the C11 standard of C compiler so to change the standards you can edit the compiler settings so for that you can go to settings compiler and in the compiler settings pan uh, tab you can go to compiler flags and you have to select a few flags like first of all we want the ANSI mode to be enabled for ANSI C programming so I will select that then if you go down a little you will see uh, I would uh, prefer to use to sh see the warnings as well as the errors so for that I will have to add a flag called WALL and along with that I would also like to have strict ANSI standards to be followed so for that I will uh, use the flag pedantic errors so I will tick this too so these three flags needs to be checked um, for working in a strict ANSI C mode now this is one way of doing it another way if you are comfortable uh, with writing the um, flags directly onto the command line then I would suggest that you remove the flags and go to other compiler options and you can add these um, flags manually so this also does has the same effect on the compilation process so now if I run build and run the file it should execute the program again without any errors or warnings now just to check whether we are following the NC standards we if I just put this sort of a command comment uh, in C in NCC this single line comment is not allowed so let us see if it gives you an error or not so you can see over here C style comments are not allowed in ISO C90 so that means we are currently working in ANSI C compiler so that's it for today hope you enjoyed the video thank you